Hurricanes in Kingston completely flooded. Hurricane Matthew has lashed Jamaica. 140 miles per hour, a major storm about to make landfall in about 24 hours or so. We have blankets, we have cots to accommodate people. When they come, they make them comfortable. One of the disadvantages worldwide and in also in Jamaica of vulnerable marginalized communities is their inability to have a, a decent home to call their own. Prevalent in this community because it is known as a squatter community. The community is a community over the years that people squat, there is no road, there is no proper bathroom facilities or anything of the sort. All of those things means that these people are constantly at risk of any hazard that passes by. Race meaning building resilience and capacities against emerging disasters. We organize for disaster risk reduction in the community, helping persons to understand the history of the area and what they need to do about getting their cells and their property ready in case of a disaster. Las diferentes actividades del proyecto están todas encaminadas hacia un mismo objetivo, que es la reducción del riesgo de desastres. ¿Qué quiere decir? que en caso de que llegue un huracán, que ocurra un terremoto, las personas en la comunidad van a verse mucho menos afectadas porque están mejor preparadas. One of the things that Habitat has been able to do is to enable these people to build their resilience through giving them resilient homes. Those resilient homes have become the catalyst to their lives. So once they were provided with homes, decent homes, they therefore looked for decent jobs. And those decent jobs came through the training that we provided. Los beneficios para las familias, tal como Habitat diseñó este proyecto, están a dos niveles. Uno, a su propio nivel de hogar, es decir, que su casa sea más resistente y más calidad frente a lluvias, frente a huracanes, frente a terremotos, pero también que sus casas tengan un, un, un baño adecuado, digno, que tengan un acceso a un agua potable. Y luego otra escala, que es la escala de la comunidad. Es un barrio más seguro, es un barrio más limpio, un barrio con mejores calles, un barrio donde mmm, al final hay una mayor cohesión. One of the main causes of poverty is persons not being able to have their own land and their own titles. As a result of that, the Brace project is concentrating on land tenure. Over the last year, we have mapped the area, we have um, surveyed the area. The enumeration exercise, which will turn into a redevelopment plan, will assist the parish council significantly to put their plans and programs into place. The land tenure project now is to get persons who doesn't have a title for the land to have it so that they can have better security to use the, the land tenorship. That is great because you know you are secure to knowing that you have a piece of paper to say that you are the person who owns this land. Right? It gives you a great security. It does because they can pass it on to their kids or you know the next generation that is coming. When they have the title they can pass it on to the next generation so they can have it ongoing. Now that they have been regularized, it allows for greater participation within the decision-making structure of the um, Portmore municipality. 
Este proyecto ha pretendido implementar todas las actividades en alianza con la comunidad. Esto quiere decir que todas las capacidades creadas están en la comunidad. Tanto hablemos de comités de gestión de las diferentes componentes del proyecto. I think one of the blessings of this project has been our advocates in the project. The advocates have been those who have built the institutions in the community. The advocates in those projects are those persons who have used the training to assist themselves, those who we have trained. So all in all, those persons have not only been able to build themselves, but build their community economically and become self-reliant. We had outdoor um, meetings where we had persons come where we spoke to them about um, different different type of um, disasters that occur and diseases that come along with the disasters uh, when we had our trainings and persons were able now able to go out and to teach others we are supposed to go and for one person to teach 20 and for those 20 to teach other persons so it would mushroom into the community and for other persons. Even if they leave the community, they will take the knowledge with them to other areas. Well, I, I believe that they will share it with each other because I, I say to them, you know, whatever knowledge you have received, you need to impart it to others. You can just have it for yourself. They now see themselves as of someone who can contribute to society. We work in a participatory manner. We have done nothing in this community without the community's involvement. So everything we do, we stop, we reflect, and we ask the community advice or give them, a, give them an idea as to what we're doing and gain feedback. I learned that pe people in the community needed help. As we went into the community surveying, um, asking them ab about their living conditions, and how they were living and we found out that people needed help and with a little help that could improve their lives. The major reto in particular for this project of Habitat I think was to get to win the confidence of the community. To get the community to participate and to become the protagonist of their own development. This project has used a multidisciplinary approach because in, on the social aspect of it, we've looked at building so, social capital and social cohesion. In terms of disaster risk reduction, we have looked at sanitation, we have looked at retrofitting homes for, um, to make them more resilient. We have also looked at um, building partnerships from an institutional standpoint so that the project could be sustained and linked into the appropriate agencies for when we leave the project. We are on track to get things right in Nagosed from an urban planning perspective, from a deve sustainable development perspective. And this can serve as a template as to how we can achieve sustainable development and planning, not just in Nagazed, not just in Portmore, but within the wider Jamaica. So we can use the best practices that, that has been developed here in Jamaica. We would have taken particular approaches to, to participation, to engaging communities, to um, set priorities towards development, and that can be used as a model for other communities, other informal communities in Jamaica. Now, Habitat has, has achieved quite a lot over the last three years, but none of this would have been possible without OFDA and USAID. Um, they have given us the, the financial assistance that we needed. They have injected into this community, and without the injection of their aid, we would not have succeeded in, in much of the work that we have carried out. So we're very, very grateful for those partnerships, and we look forward to having far more of this kind of partnerships in the future. I think there are a number of areas in which Habitat for Humanity's work can be useful in other parts of Latin America and the Caribbean. It's very important for us to work at the community level, uh, the neighborhood level, because only at that level can you actually get impacts that benefit a large number of people. Habitat for Humanity demonstrated a, a great commitment to and capacity for uh, carrying out work uh, at the neighborhood level. Uh, for us, that was very important and makes uh, Habitat a, the kind of partner that we want to work with going forward. Over the three years of the project, I have watched the attitudes of the people change. Um, knowledge gain have been used to not only enhance their lives, but to, to enable them to work harder at what they do. 
So they've worked harder in terms of building the institutions in the community. They have worked harder in terms of improving their structures, improving their homes. They have worked harder in terms of ensuring that they, they, they have proper sanitation. They have worked harder in terms of ensuring that the community becomes safe. So the project has built, not only be built resilience, but it has built a sense of community, it has built a sense of pride, and it has also enabled us as, a, as, as Habitat to see the benefit of what we have done and to pump more into the people that we, have, we, we try to serve.